Hey everyone, Tracy here of DustinandTracy.com and in this video I wanted to share with you a cool little tool that I came across that actually allows you to find content that is being shared within your niche. And this is a powerful site because a lot of times when you're, you're starting the content creation process, you might not fully be sure of what your target audience is looking for, what kind of content they're looking to consume. And so what this site does is it allows you to search by keywords or by websites and figure out exactly what content is being shared right now so that you can go ahead and get inspiration for your own content as well. And so what I want to do is just kind of walk you through this website and show you some of the features so that you can go ahead and start using it in your content creation process as well. And so the website is called buzzsumo.com. I believe I'm saying that right. It's just B-U-Z-Z-S-U-M-O.com. And what, when you go to the home page, this is what it looks like here, and it's actually free to use. I think they have some premium uh, memberships, but for the features that I use, you can just go ahead and uh, use the free features. Um, but basically, what, what, I, what you can do, like I was saying, is you can put in either a topic or a domain, and it's going to show you content that is shared um, from within those topics. And so, for example, you could uh, look up information on your own website to see maybe which um, of your posts are performing best and what it will do is it will just show you how many you know Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Google Plus shares you're getting so you can do something like that and you can kind of figure out places that you can improve upon uh, you can do major websites like a good one that I always look at is socialmediaexaminer.com and this one has a lot of uh, guest posts and, and guest bloggers so it, it gets shared a lot so their content is really great um, and it's a great place to look for inspiration and so let's just use use theirs as the example right now as you can see it by default it sorts by total shares so as you can see this first blog post right here six simple photo tools for creating social media visuals has actually gotten shared a total of twelve thousand six hundred and forty times and so that is a huge number you know that you that shows that this is something that people saw as valuable and this is something that they're wanting to share as your, with their audiences as, as well and so if you can start looking through these types of posts you know looking at let's you can actually click on that blog post and see exactly what was shared so this was the exact blog post that was shared and as you can see you know it's formatted really well it's it's easy to read it has lots of great visuals on it uh, they have different ways of, of sharing it. So here by making, you know, including a scrolling bar like this, they make it really easy for their readers to share that topic. Um, and basically you're just going to get a feel for exactly what people are looking for. You can read through and, and, you know, see what kind of value that they're sharing in these posts and use that as inspiration for your own content as well. So obviously putting lots of great captivating pictures, uh, making it easy to share and breaking up your font in your post is most likely going to help increase the share rates on your own content as well. And like I said, um, you can sort by total shares or let's say that you're looking for content that was most shared on something like Facebook. Maybe that's where you're planning to uh, get your content shared. You can actually go up here where it says sort by and click Facebook shares. And now it's going to sort by the content that got most shared on Facebook. And so you can see it, it mixed it up a little bit. There's some that got shared more on Facebook in this case, and they, those got moved to the top. And you can just go through and look through those posts as well. Another cool feature that you can do is actually click over here where it says View Sharers. And it will show you all of the people who shared that content on Twitter. This only shows people who share on Twitter, but as you can see, this is really powerful because you're now able to see lots of people who share content in your niche and um, something you can do is follow them on Twitter um, you can you know follow their followers you can you know start plugging into their posts and see what kind of content they're sharing as well uh, just another really cool feature of this site same thing when it comes to your you know if you do research on your own site on here you know, you put your .com in here and then look through. You can see the people who are actually sharing your content as well. So that's really cool. 
Uh, another thing you can do is you can just, you can click on the website and see all of the posts. Oh, that one actually brings you to the blog since I was on that. But when you're on, oh, right here underneath, you can actually click on the, the people who wrote that post and you can see everything that was written by that person. So if there's a certain blogger that resonates with you on, on certain sites, then you can actually just go ahead and sort it by only their blog post. So there's another awesome feature. And over here you can see that you can actually filter the types of posts that were shared. So you can filter by article, infographics, guest posts, giveaways, interviews, videos. Um, sometimes it'll show influencers over here. And you can also filter by date. So if you're looking for content that was shared recently, like in the past 24 hours or the past week, you can go ahead and sort it by that. And that will give you an idea of what was shared recently, you know, more fresh content. Because as you know, things change. So people, you know, might like to see different things at different times. So that gives you an idea of what's being shared right now. So definitely a powerful feature. Those are the main things that I've been using this site for, but as you can see, it is an endless stream of content inspiration and it really just helps you get a better idea of what it is that people want to see and what it is that they want to share with their own followings and fans. And the ultimate goal when you're creating content is of course to get people, you know, making that go viral, getting people sharing your content. So you really just want to start plugging into what's working for other people. It takes a lot of, away a lot of that headache for you, and it takes away a lot of time. I mean, this, this, this is people doing that research for you. All you have to do is go figure out how you can apply the same kind of strategy for your content. So that sums up my uh, overview of BuzzSumo. I highly recommend you go check it out, especially if you're someone who's struggling to come up with some content ideas or you're struggling with getting your content shared. And I will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out the link below if you want to, you know, see the blog post on this more in depth as well.